Hi everyone, in today's video we'll be looking at a vector two regressive model, part 2, var, okay. In the first video I had explained uh, that there are different variants of var and we looked at two of them. The first video we looked at the var itself and uh, we looked at var at first difference. I uh, could recall that I told you that um, var, for you to use var then all your variables must be stationary at levels okay when you have levels variables then uh, you can use var there is no need for you to conduct co-integration tests in that regard but when you have a non-stationary variable throughout the model okay i1 variables and then the models are not co-integrated then you use var at first difference okay do not forget that i told you what determine the variant of uh, a popular field analysis it's uh depends on the uh, the pre-estimation test, I'm talking about the unit truth and the co-integration test. They're very, very important. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be looking at uh, the Toda Yamamoto variant of VAR. Uh, I'll be looking at the uh, vector error correction mechanism. Okay, uh, Toda Yamamoto variant of VAR, uh, it, uh, it's appropriate for models that uh, contain series that are stationary mix order. By mix order, I mean high O and high one variables. Okay. I1, I1 variables, we use today Yamamoto for it. And uh, how do we estimate today Yamamoto variant of R? Uh, uh, just the, in this point, for this uh, uh, tutorial, we have two variables. We have GDP, sorry for this. GDP good, we have inflation. Okay, so in this other, let's say we'll click on GDP, and then we'll click on inflation. Just hold your control button, click, and then you right click, you open as uh, as VAR. Okay. First thing first, we need to come up, conduct our uh, lag order selection criteria to determine the appropriate lag. So click on OK. Then you come to view here. Okay, it's a lag structure. Lag length criteria. Let's say we are looking at it up to 4. Lag to include 4. We click on OK. We have our result. Okay, so uh, we have various results by different. Uh, Selection criteria, Akai K and Akoin, Chuaz. Okay, so let's say we are going with Akai K. Akai K picks two. Okay, two lakhs. Two lakhs. Okay, so I'll uh, come back here. Estimate. And we have two lakhs already, so that's good. So we specify into the amount. Just copy these the variables in the indigenous box and come and put them in the exogenous variable box. Okay. Now you are going to specify them in lakhs. How do you determine the number of lakhs to specify them? Okay, the number of lakhs to specify them is going to be your optimum lag plus one. Okay, optimum lag plus one. In this case, the optimum lag we selected here is two. Okay, two plus one that is three. If you are picking three lakhs there, then it's going to be three plus one. If you are picking four lakhs there, it's going to be four plus one. So you come in minus three okay minus three okay if you have more than you, you do it as for as many variables as, as you have in this case you have two variables so you click on uh, on okay you have a result okay like i said in the first video we do not really interpret uh my estimate results okay we really make inferences from them and you do that by looking at impulse response and uh we ask the composition so you come to view and then you see our impulse response let's click on that Anyway, multiple graph we can leave it the way it is okay so you have a result okay this shows the responses of gdp growth in shocks and inflation responses of inflation to shocks and gdp growth responses of gdp growth to shocks and gdp these are in shocks basically okay so uh this one tells us that uh gdp growth respond negatively to inflation just for the first three three periods and after that you respond positively but then it converges back to equilibrium in the between six and seven period okay here yeah, inflation respond uh, negatively to shocks and gdp growth mm, but it converges back to equilibrium in the six period okay so that is that then you come here variance the composition sorry this is not supposed to be there variance the composition you click usually you present it in table okay so you know just look at the table okay very nice composition okay this basically tells you what percentage of changes in a independent variable that is uh, explained by the independent variable for example 
This tells us uh, the percentage of changes in GDP growth that is captured by, that is occasioned by inflation. Okay, so for the first period, this period, okay, for here, this is a yearly data, so first year, second year, third year. I mean, in the first year, inflation had no effect on GDP growth. It account for no changes in GDP growth. Uh, that is uh, in the first year, so we can say a year lag, kind of, okay, in the second year, it only accounted for about 1.7% changes in GDP growth, okay. The same thing for inflation. Okay, so that is today Yamama too. Okay, I could just show you the uh the model specification here. Okay, see how you specify the today Yamama too. Okay, this this K here denotes the optimum lag length, and that is determined by conducting a lag selection criteria test. The one we conducted, and uh, you see, the D max is the maximum order of integration. So, like we specify, see K plus one, the maximum, the optimum lag. Criteria selected plus one. That's what determine the lag we included in the FTG news box and then to K plus D max. So this is today a Mamadou model uh, model uh, model construction. Okay. So uh, now we look at uh, the vector error correction mechanism model. Okay. Vector error cor correction mechanism with them is appropriate when uh, the model has stationary of in order one okay no stationary variable basically i1 variables all true but then they are co-integrated for VAT first difference they are all high one variable non-stationary or you say stationary at first difference but they are not co-integrated but for vc they are high one variable and then they are co-integrated okay so we should know the difference okay how do we do that uh let's start all over again this is Open as var. Okay. Now we know that the optimum lag length is two, so no need to call, do that again. Just come in. Vectorial correction mechanism. Uh, okay. You click on vectorial correction mechanism. Uh, the optimal lag is two. We conducted it for the first one. So, okay. You have a result. From this, we can make our inferences. So we can get our impulse response. Impulse response. Uh, multiple graphs, combined graphs, okay. Okay, so tell us uh, uh, GDP growth, response to shocks and in inflation, you see, negative. Uh, inflation, respond to shocks and GDP growth, okay. So that's that, and then you can come in to your real decomposition. Mm, let's preserve, let's get, get that result in table, and then you have the results, okay. Here are the results. So, this tells us what percentage of changes in GDP growth that is accounted for by our uh, inflation at different period, okay, in time. So, uh, basically, that is VAR. What the time in the uh, the variant of VAR to be adopted is uh, a function of the your pre-estimation test result, okay. And this test, uh, they include the unit truth test and co-integration. They are very very important, okay. Uh, you don't just assume that you just pick any variant of R to use. If you do that, you be you might be producing a spurious result. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you are watching this video for the first time, do not forget to click on the subscribe button. It costs nothing. Thank you. Have a nice day.